Hello everyone! Today I'm trying to beat three kingdoms in Super Luigi Odyssey, but every time I collect a moon, it makes one of Luigi's moves way more powerful. Towards the end, Luigi becomes so powerful that he's almost impossible to control. So I'm here in the Sherbet Hills, aka the Snow Kingdom, and today every moon I collect will make Luigi even more powerful. And at the moment, Luigi does not seem to have a mustache, which looks really, really weird. <laughs> I'm pretty sure to start with, I have to go up here first, which should be easy, yeah. I can do a little bit of parkour like this, and then I can go down here, and I'm pretty sure there's a few moons down here. And if I remember correctly, yes, there's a moon on top of all these boxes here, which I need to be careful not to knock down the boxes to get. Oh, right, I should be able to get it. Oh, okay, that was quite easy, but that should double my power. And what I mean by Luigi's power is every time I collect a moon, one of Luigi's abilities goes super high. So look, if I do a wall jump like that, I get a super amount of height, which is really, really cool, which I might actually be able to use if I go on top of here and then do a dive and I can then get the chest really easily up here and collect another moon, which is very, very cool. Okay, it seems like this moon's made me a bit faster, which is cool. And also, wait, look at my jump. It looks like it's also increased my gravity. Oh my gosh, I fall so fast now. Let me try jump on this. This might be fun. <laughs> <laughs> Luigi with really high gravity is so funny. Anyway, let's go try collect another moon. I think there's one up there which I can get quite easily. I've still got the giant wall jump as well, which is cool. Look at this. I can just jump like that. I can do a wall jump up here. I'm pretty sure there's another moon up here. Yeah, in the sparkling patch, there's another moon which I can easily collect. And this might give me a really funny ability. <laughs> Oh, it looks like that's made my bonk giant. Anyway, let's go down these rooms and let's get the story moon. This might be really difficult with the higher gravity. Because it's almost like having no jump or you have to be very careful on when you jump. I almost fell off there. Yes, okay, I can do a jump like that to get up, which is nice. And then after that, I can just go capture this guy and blow off all of these spinies. Look at this. And once all these spinies are dead, I can get another moon. Like that. Oh my gosh, I almost fell on the poison when I uncaptured him. But there we go, we get a story moon. I've also made it so later on, there's going to be some clones that spawn. So I'm going to be controlling multiple Luigi's at once, which will be cool. I honestly can't tell what's different yet. But let's go down the next room. My gravity seems to be like less strong. It seems to be less harsh. It still seems to be up there, but it's less harsh. But with this room, I just want to go up the snowy mountain. Oh, oh my gosh, this is going to take ages with the higher gravity. It's just gradually floating up because normally it's pretty much instant. Yeah, yeah. He's just floating, but with the higher gravity, it's dead weird. Okay, I made it up. Oh, I missed a secret moon, but now I get to fight Rango, which will be cool. I'll see if I'm able to do this. This might be very, very difficult. Oh, will I even be able to do this? Okay, I can just backflip up, but I won't be able to use this hat to get on top of him. So it's going to be a bit more difficult than normal. No, stop moving out the way. Okay, I got him. I dived on him. I'm also moving a lot faster than normal. Look at Luigi moving on the ice. He looks so funny. There we go. I got him. I managed to dive on him. Now he's dead. Oh, it looks like my cat bounces has been increased as well. So I just did a cat bounce and it bounced me up way higher than normal. Hold on for a minute, because this video is sponsored by HelloFresh. HelloFresh delivers simple recipes and fresh ingredients straight to your doorstep so you can cut back on meal prep time and trips to the grocery store. Short on time? Well, HelloFresh has you covered with their wide variety of quick and easy recipes, including the 20 minute meals, easy cleanup and low prep options, making meal times quick, easy and delicious. I found it ridiculously easy to sign up and order my first free meals with HelloFresh. Honestly, the hardest part about this was actually choosing the recipes from the range of delicious meal options on the HelloFresh website. HelloFresh uses pre-portioned ingredients, meaning less preparation for you and less wasted food. HelloFresh is America's number one meal kit and it has more five-star reviews than any other meal kit, so you'll know you'll get something delicious. Use my link in the description or go to HelloFresh.com and use code POGMANX NP16 for up to 16 free meals and free surprise gifts across six HelloFresh boxes plus free shipping. Gifts include free appetizers, free desserts, and free premium recipes. Anyway, I have two more barriers to get here. Maybe with one of them, I might just be able to make the jump up. Oh my god, I forgot how big my wall jumps are. 
So I can just do that over all of it. Oh my gosh. Oh, I have to collect the moon shards. Oh, the last shards there. Okay, I didn't see it. But anyway, now we have all the shards. So we can go up and collect the moon right at the top. Oh my gosh, that was so difficult with the gravity. But anyway, we've got the story moon. This will upgrade something. But once I've got world peace in this kingdom, I should be able to see a clone. And I've only got one more barrier to go, which will be cool. And then we can have a look at the clone, I think. Icicle Cavern. I've got an idea. I might be able to skip all of this. Alright, I'm just going to try jump it normally. Get a... Oh, oh, oh. Yes, yes, okay. I could just jump it normally the whole time. I didn't have to do a fancy wall jump. We got that moon. I cheesed the game a little bit because of my weird physics. And now my physics should be even weirder. All right, let's go down here and let's do the race. I'll do this part quickly because you don't actually play as Luigi in it. You play as this racer. All right, let's do the race. It's really easy. This race is super, super easy. Yeah, let's go. That was way too easy. Where are the other people? They haven't even finished yet. They were ages behind. They were like 30 seconds behind me. And with this, there should be a clone on the surface waiting for me. Let's go meet a clone. So when I step out the Odyssey, there should be two Luigis. Okay, I really hope this has worked. I haven't tested this yet, but it should be very, very cool if it does. Oh, wait, it looks like it's worked, but one is trapped underneath the Odyssey. Yes, there's another one over there. I need to make them catch up with each other. But I'm controlling two Luigis at once, which is really cool. Oh, they've gone into each other. Okay, <laughs> like if I was to do a wall jump with both of them. They both have the funny physics. I'm gonna try collect a moon with them. I'm gonna try get up there using both Luigi's. Do you climb? Okay, you, you... Oh my gosh, my climb's so fast. Oh, okay. One of them got it, but it went to the other one. Oh my god, this is so weird. But this is also really, really cool. What if I capture something? Okay, so one of the Luigi's are in the fish, and the other one is just running around. Let me know if you want to see a full video with just the clones. Anyway, let's move on to the next kingdom. Wait, what is that Luigi doing? He's just running out the door. Did you see that? He's just really, He's trying to get into the Odyssey. We might end up leaving this one behind, though. Oh, no, we're leaving Luigi behind. He's just running. He's trying to keep up, but we've just left him behind. We've deserted Luigi. So we're here in the Luncheon Kingdom, and it should be very, very interesting because this is a big kingdom. Look, it has nearly 20 moons. Anyway, let's quickly go get the first moon. It should be pretty easy. It's got some spooky music in because this kingdom's meant to be spooky in Luigi Odyssey. I can make a jump over here. Yeah, there's a moon here. Nice. I remember that. I did that on purpose. I totally did that on purpose. I should have my giant wall jump now. Let's have a look. Yes, I do. Nice. Nah. But anyway, we get to fight Spew it now. I'm not actually bad. I just pretend to be bad. Like, look at this. I'm actually doing well here. I'm normally good at this game, I swear. But anyway, Spewit's dead. He was kind of cringe anyway. There we go. Now more of my abilities will be upgraded, which is cool. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. It makes my jump gravity really, really high. I know how I can get a quick moon as well. I can get a quick moon just from this box. You see this crate here? It has a... It has the moon in, which I can use my giant wall jump probably just to get up in one go. There we go, like that. Oh my gosh. This is going to upgrade me again. And I think there's a golden turnip here. It's, yes, there's a golden turnip that I can put in the pot and the pot will give me if I can actually jump up. How am I going to jump up? Oh my gosh. Let me up. Okay, there we go. If I throw that in, it's going to give me a moon as well. Nice. I can capture one of these guys and then I can go up the mountain. I need to capture one of these hammer bros and then press a button as well now. And then that will unlock that story moon there. I'm pretty sure there's a button here. Oh no, there's a lever. And I just clipped through the floor and died. Brilliant. Okay, I've actually flipped the lever. I didn't clip through the wall this time. And now I can go collect that power moon over there. Oh, if I don't fall in the lava. Oh my gosh, I almost fell in the lava because of how big my gravity was. All right, let's go up to the top of the mountain. This should be pretty cool. I really want to get my clone again. Oh, okay. Okay, why did that lava make me so fast? Look at this. Look at this. When I get hit by the lava and then go on ground, look how fast that makes me. All right, let's make our way up to the top of the mountain and I should be able to capture a piece of meat meat the piece of meat oh when you capture the piece of meat here the bird comes for you you start twitching and the bird comes to you you see it's a piece of meat with a mustache the bird sees it 
and the bird's going for the piece of meat. This is the best moment in any Mario game ever. <laughs> Okay, now I'm up here. I can just do a jump up here. I can just jump up here and get grab the multi moon. And this will spawn a clone. I've made it so that multi moons spawn a clone. I'm definitely going to be doing a video just on clones though at some point because it's a really cool idea and I really enjoyed playing around with the clones before. Oh, I forgot how pretty this looks. It's like the end dimension from Minecraft. So if I've done, yes, yes, two Luigi's is working now. Now I have two Luigi's in Super Mario Odyssey. Or Super Luigi Odyssey. Okay, one of them still has a cap. Oh no. That's me dead. Because when one of them dies, both of them die. Which kind of sucks, but it makes sense. Yeah. I am going to do this. It's just very difficult because of how like weird my movement is. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Is that it? There we go. I got it. Nice. One of them's just floating, but we got it. And that's going to make my movement even more weirder. Yeah. But anyway, we can also go up here and get, get another moon. There's another one up here There's that we can easily get. <laughs> oh, yeah. What? One of my clone Luigi's is inside of the cheese. That looks so weird. Can he jump out? Yeah, he can. What? Oh, no. Oh, what? Only one clone can jump on Cappy at a time. I can collect one here. Oh. These pink bricks fall away when you stand on them. I'm wondering if it works with the clones. Oh, no. Oh no, how am I? Okay, please collect the moon, please collect the moon. Oh. All right, let's try that again. It should be pretty easy. I need a plan. I need a plan to not have them split up. Okay, I just need, I need to take it a bit slower. There we go. And both Luigi's leave their own trail, which is quite cool. There we go, got it. Nice, that was easy. I had to remove Luigi's clone from here because it just made it too difficult. Like, it was pretty much impossible. Pretty much like having one health point the entire game. It wouldn't let me go through this door properly and you could only have one capture at a time. So it was really, really, really difficult. But now I should be able to do it easily. I should just be able to capture this guy. Uh, this should be pretty easy to get up. What? Oh my gosh. Wait, I still might be able to make it. How did I make that? How did I make that jump? It's because of the boosted lava speed. And then I can just jump up here with the fireball. Like that. And get the moon. I'm so glad I did this challenge. Weird stuff like this happening is just the best. Oh my gosh. I would not expect to make that. Just parkour with this mod is so funny. Once again, I made this mod by myself, which is cool. Like this movement mod. I didn't make Luigi Odyssey or the Lost Kingdoms. Okay, now time for the boss fight. Let's go. But I made this movement mod by myself. And let me know if you want to see more mods by made by me. I made, I made the 100 painting mod and the 100 pipe mod by myself as well. Yeah, we just need to wait for it to bomb it. <laughs> and then we climb up and jump on its head. Like that. It's easy. Okay, now it's got a swervy path. It's just as easy as before. Yeah, there we go. And as a bonus after this, I'm going to go and fight the dragon with my very, very weird movement speed to see whether it's possible. All right, she just needs one more hit. I have to jump up on these lava bubbles. There we go. And there we go. Got her. Easy. She's going to fall into the broth. A chicken in the broth might make it quite tasty. But there we go. There's the multi-moon right there. Let's go. Cooktails showdown. Yeah. Oh, it's Misty again. That's cringe. Let's finally go and collect the last few moons. It should be pretty easy. Yeah. I need three more moons to complete this. Yeah. Oh, my long jump's big now. Let's see, test my ground pound. Oh my gosh, my ground pound is giant. Oh, I'm going to test the side flip as well. Yeah, my side flip's giant as well. Wait, I've got an idea. Oh, I clipped out of bounds again. This keeps on happening. Why do I keep on clipping out of bounds? Oh, I can catch this rabbit. And because I'm fast now, it should be very easy. I keep on clipping out of bounds. There we go. I got the rabbit. I snuck up on him. Now we only need two more moons. I can't actually remember where most moons are in the Luncheon Kingdom. But I remember there's another one up on this pillar here. You do a side flip up and then a ground pound and to collect this moon. Nice. Now I only need one more moon. That's made me very, very fast. I'm very, very fast right now. I might go in. Okay, okay, okay. My long jump is very high, apparently. I don't want a long jump again. Okay, okay, okay. I got hit by the lava. I want to go in this room and get whatever's in it. I've got a funny idea. Let's just do a long jump up to the top. 
Okay, I might want to stop that now. Okay, that's a solid platform. I'm scared. Okay, long jump again. That should be good. I should just be able to dive down and... Land on that platform and land on the moon. Nice. Okay, that was very, very scary, but I managed to do it. Wait, it removed one of my moons, and so now I need another one. Bro, that's cringe. There we go. For some reason, that moon didn't count, so I have to collect it twice for some reason. Now we have enough. Now we have enough. I can speedrun... Oh my gosh, I'm so fast. I can speedrun my way back to Cappy. Or back to... Not back to Cappy. What? Wait, did you see that? Did you see that jump? Oh my gosh, that was so cool. Normally, if I jump with like really high speed, it cancels all the speed. There we go. There's a dragon here. This time, we've got a red dragon. Normally, it's purple. And I'm going to have to beat this red dragon at very, very high speed. So we're at the ghostly ruin, and I've kept all the... I just fell. So we're at the ghostly ruin, and I've kept all of my speed now. Oh, okay. This is going to be very interesting to see whether I can beat the boss or not. I'm making my way up to the red dragon. The patch on his head still the same color. Oh my gosh, I'm moving so fast. I should easily be able to avoid his attack, so... Yeah, this is so easy. I don't want to end up jumping up too high and going out of bounds, so... So I'm going to try not to long jump. I'm going to try not to ground pound. You see, he's got like a patch which is the same color as normal and the rest of it's red. Oh, look out lightning. Thank you, Cappy. Very observant. This has made this boss a lot harder, though. Oh. Oh. I almost fell out of bounds there, but I managed to throw Cappy and live. Now all I have to do is ground pound on his head. His weird patch here. It worked. It worked. And now we've got rid of his weird patch. It's so easy to just to avoid all of these when I'm running so fast. Let's see if I can get it. Okay, just need to do a ground pound. And there we go. We've got another one. We only need one more hit on the red dragon before it dies. He's throwing a lot of orbs, but I, I think I can just teleport through them. Like, I don't think I get damaged by them when I'm going at such a high speed. Okay, he's dropped back down. I don't want to get hit by these electrical attacks. I got hit by one of these electrical attacks. But I can rush at him. Unless I do, unless I do. Okay, I need to back off. I need to back off. I don't want to get damaged. If I get damaged, it's over. I only need to get up on his head and live. Oh, no, no. Wait, there's another heart. There's another heart that I didn't see. Oh. No! All right, he's got one more hit left. And I've got three HP. I've not taken any damage this time. I took a lot of damage last time because I wasn't used to all the speed and stuff. But now I'm using it to my advantage. And I'm doing stuff better than normal. Which I should just... Yes. Finish him off. Let's go. We killed the giant dragon at like very, very high speeds. Very high, very high power. Everything was very, very high power there. We can collect the multi-moon. Thank you so much for watching this. Thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring it. If you're interested, click my link in the description. And if you've enjoyed this video, you might also enjoy Super Luigi Odyssey. But every time I collect a moon, my speed doubles, which is a very, very funny video. Bruh.